Hello! In this tutorial I teach you to build the shulker shop that's right behind me. I'll start with the materials list and then we'll jump right into a block by block tutorial. Let's go! Here are the materials that you'll need for this build. I've slightly overestimated the amount of materials you'll need so if you collect this many you should be fine. Start by marking off a 16 by 16 area and then figure out which side you'd like your front door and then mark the middle two blocks so we remember which one is the front. The main color in this build is magenta terracotta and the darker spots are purple terracotta. Let's start by roughing in the first four layers and begin with the doorway. So find your middle marker blocks, go one block over and one, two, three up with purple terracotta, two over and three up to create your doorway. Now we're going to take magenta terracotta and we're going to go four layers up around the entire build. Now go to a corner, count six blocks in, one, two, three, four, five, six, and go three up with magenta terracotta, one, two, three, go five more over, one, two, three, four, five, and connect. Now fill this all in with magenta terracotta. Now you're going to outline the top and the sides with purple terracotta. Just like this. Now go ahead and do that for the remaining three sides. Your build should now look like this. Now we're going to go ahead and start putting in some of the detail work with the darker purple terracotta. Uh, we're going to start in one corner and you're going to want to go up diagonal three and then back down uh, making like a zigzag design. Now because of the dimensions of the build all three all four sides will not line up the designs won't line up perfectly on all four sides but that's okay you can kind of just play with it and rough it in as best as you can um, once you have that done you'll want to kind of pop up in the corners here and connect to uh, your darker outline now go ahead and do this kind of design along the other three sides now we're going to work on the top half of the shell go to the front of your building and to the left corner Place down two temporary blocks and then take your purple terracotta and go three over. One, two, three, and go three up. One, two, three. Now go 11 over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and three down. One, two, th three, and then two over. And now let's go to the next side two over, three up, 11 over, two. down three, two over, and continue this pattern around the last two sides. Once you're done with that, break out your two temporary blocks and go back to your front corner. Now with magenta terracotta, go 10 blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And now we're gonna fill in this whole front 10 blocks tall all the way across. Now at this point, if you're good, and I'm not, you can go ahead and put in your uh, dark purple or your purple darker spots uh, and do your design all the way up. However, I need to rough it out first and then kind of step back and figure out my design once my rough spots are filled in. So once you have that filled in 10 blocks tall, go ahead and do that for the other three sides. With the sides roughed in, now let's take your purple terracotta and start working on your design. I find it's easiest to start with the top and in the front kind of go one block in and then start doing your diagonals again three blocks down this time and then three blocks back up in a zigzag pattern now if you're doing this in creative mode 
it's easy to fly around. If you're doing this in survival mode, however, you will uh, want to make sure you have plenty of scaffolding for this job. Once you've got your top kind of done like this, we're going to want to go down the edges. And in the edges, it's just two kind of diagonal like this in uh, more of a checkerboard pattern. And I usually stop right there. And you've got your kind of shulker design. Go back to your left side and go down. So you're going diagonal down the sides too, but it kind of connects to your top. And it's kind of like that. So that's the kind of basic design you want to do. Now you want to do that same kind of pattern along the remaining three sides. And that gives you that cool like shulker pattern. So repeat this on the other three sides and then we'll move to the roof. The roof is going to be much like the sides. Uh, the main portion of it will be uh, magenta terracotta with the uh, zigzags that design in purple terracotta. And again, I fill this in, I rough this all in with magenta first and then work on my design. However, if you uh, are feeling fancy or think you can manage it, feel free to do your design as you do the roof. Do the roof. And the design will be purple terracotta and just like the bottoms and the top, you're going three in. You have to get a little bit fancy here to make sure you connect with the portions of the roof uh, or the sides, uh, but it should not be too bad. Just have to get a little creative every here and there. And now we are completely done with the exterior. Let's head inside our build. And we're going to clear the floor one block down to make room for our floor design. Now that's cleared off. Head in and the room and look at your front door and go to the left hand corner in the front. And we're going to start putting down magenta terracotta in a swirl pattern. So we'll go along the front wall and the left wall and the back wall. And then here you're going to stop and you're going to go one in away from the left wall and then make a gap. And we're just going to swirl in to the center of the room. Right. And once you've got that swirl done, go ahead and take the empty spots and fill them with purple terracotta. And when you're finished, it should look kind of like the bottom of a shulker box. Next, we're going to build the giant shulker head that goes inside of here. So to start that, we're going to look at the door and go over to the right front right corner. And we're going to count four blocks out. One, two, three, four. And four blocks toward the center. One, two, three, four. And we're going to put down six temporary blocks. One, two, three three, four, five, six. On top of that, we're going to put down a white terracotta and then we're going to go seven more blocks over for a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to go seven blocks more back for a total of eight back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When then we're just going to complete the square. and fill this all in with white terracotta. And then we're gonna go to the front here and uh, you can go ahead and break out your temporary blocks. And we're gonna start in the left corner and we're gonna put down three light terracotta, three two white terracotta, three light gray terracotta. Then uh, that's the bottom of the eyes. So then we're gonna put down two by two white concrete and then two black concrete for the eyes. So two black concrete and then two by two white concrete and then uh, white terracotta between them. 
and we're just going to go ahead and fill in, uh, or not fill in, but uh, go up around all the sides to meet the eyes. So now we're going to take light gray terracotta and do a ring around the entire thing. And now we're going to take the white terracotta and then we're going to go one around the edge. And then one more around the whole thing. This should mean that your uh, shulker head should be seven blocks tall and then eight by eight wide. And we just fill in the top of his head here whoop, with uh, white terracotta. I go ahead and put down some light blocks so you can see what I'm doing. Let's put one glowstone each kind of in the middle there. All right, and now you've got your giant shulker head. Next up is the interior. So from the inside of the build, look at the front door and take some endstone bricks and we are just going to actually outline the door in endstone bricks. And then on either side of the bricks, three purple pillars. And then uh, two upside down purple stairs between them. And then go to the left side. And we're going to put down two upside down endstone bricks. Followed by three purple pillars. And then two white terracotta in the back, and then two upside upside down endstone bricks, and then pop in two end rods to light it up. Should look like that. Now you're going to go to the right side and do the exact same thing. Now you're going to look to the left, and you're going to put down. Uh, diagonal from your other purple pillars, three purple pillars, followed by three end stone bricks, and then six upside down end stone brick stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, followed by three end stone bricks. One, two, three, followed by three purple pillars. Three, and then you're going to do the same here white terracotta along the back wall and upside down and stone bricks and stone brick stairs here just like so and you're gonna go to the left wall or the back wall do the same thing and then the exact same thing on the left wall Once that's completed, you're going to want to go above and just fill this in with um, purple slabs all the way around. And then one more deep so you actually should hit the back wall with these. And to finish it off and get all our lighting in, we are going to put an endstone brick slab in each corner just under the uh, purple slabs. And then pop an end rod on top of each one of these. Then you want to connect all the purple slabs with, oop, with end rods. just like that and go ahead and do the same on the remaining three sides.
And next is some optional lighting, but I think it really makes the inside of the, the build look nice. Go into your corners and pop out the three um, slabs there. And put a glowstone with uh, magenta stained glass on either side and on top. And go ahead and do that on the remaining three sides. And round it off, fill it with your uh, shulker box stock on all of the white terracotta walls. And every good shop needs an ender chest. And I think this looks really nice with one on each side. And then I put a shulker box here and here for people to deposit my diamonds when they pay me. All right, that is it at this point. The build is complete, and if you've been following along, congratulations, you have finished your own shulker shack. Well, that concludes the tutorial. If you have uh, questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section. And if you build this in your world, please post a link to a picture of it in the comments below. I love to see what you come up with and love to see the world that you're creating. I love my new shulker shop, I love my new shulker shop, I love my new sh Oh, this was a terrible idea. Oh, 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 oh.